What's up, everyone? Welcome to the February 14th edition of the NBA Bet Pro Video. I'm your host, Adam Scherer. You can follow me on Twitter at ShipMyMoneyDFS. We have five NBA games to evaluate today, looking at the best NBA player props using our NBA Bet Pro model. Uh, this tool was developed by our same team that does our DFS projections. They're focusing now on um, NBA prop betting as well. We've had success with the tool so far. And if you haven't tried it out yet, sign up, take advantage of a seven-day free trial. It should help you immediately improve at your prop betting, whether you're experienced uh, or, or inexperienced. It should be able to help you out. So sign up and take advantage of that free trial. Also, remember to subscribe to the Odd Chopper YouTube channel. Click the thumbs up below this video as well. That helps us out a lot. And now we're going to walk through the NBA uh, bet pro model for today's slate. Starting at bet MGM, uh, at the top, we have Franz Wagner under three and a half assists at minus 115. You'll see that the top three players here are all from Orlando and highlighted in yellow. If you scroll up on the NBA bet pro model, it explains our color coded injury system here. So we have Cole Anthony questionable for Orlando. I am hesitant to take the under on assists props for any of these guys, because if Anthony is out, you could get increased playing time for any of Franz Wagner, Markel Fultz, Paolo Bancaro. You are also likely to see the assist projection increase at least slightly. So you could still take these wagers, but uh, I'd stay away from them for now until we get up to date or an update on Cole Anthony's status. Uh, going down to Paolo Bancaro, though, under half of a block at minus 150, Cole Anthony's status shouldn't really affect this at all, uh, so you don't have a highlight here. And we expect Bancaro to win this bet 63% of the time. That gives you a 6% expected return. The S bet percentage, which is defined up here as the percentage of your bankroll that we recommend wagering on the given bet, is 6.6%. And your SEV, which again, defined up here at the top, is the percentage by which you can expect your bankroll to grow if you do wager this SBET percentage. So Paolo Bancaro under half of a block at minus 150 for 6.6% .6 of your bankroll gives you a, an expected bankroll growth of 0.27%. Moving over to Caesars, the same three Orlando wagers are at the top on assists. Again, just going to ignore those for now until we get an update on Cole Anthony's status. Here we have Terrence Davis over three and a half rebounds at plus 112. We have him projected for 4.1. Malik Monk is out once again tonight for the Kings. In their last game, you got about 27 minutes in regulation from Terrence Davis. There's no guarantee he plays that many minutes again, but he is likely to end up in at least the low uh, 20s, if not more. He has a 50% chance of winning this wager, which gives you a 7% expected return on the bet. We recommend wagering 4.8% of your bankroll, and you can expect your bankroll to grow by 0.23%. Now, before we move to DraftKings and FanDuel, one more reminder to sign up and take advantage of the seven-day free trial. You'll be able to use this tool to help you with your prop betting. Uh, you should be able to find ways to work it into your process that help you out. So sign up and take advantage of that free trial. I'm moving over to DraftKings, and again, for now, just ignoring these Orlando guys at the top. We also already talked about the Terrence Davis rebound prop, but next we have over one and a half three-pointers. We have Davis projected for 2.3 three-pointers. The line here is minus 125. You have a 59% chance of winning this wager, which gives you a 6% expected return. We recommend wagering 6.2% of your bankroll, and you can expect it to grow by 0.28%. And last but not least, moving over to FanDuel, uh, we have the same Orlando guys at the top. We also have Derek White in here under five and a half rebounds. Uh, Al Horford and Robert Williams are both questionable today, so I'm not touching an under rebounds bet on any of the Celtics. Pascal Siakam over six and a half rebounds. Now, typically, I don't mind taking an over even on a team where you do have questionable players because we have the questionable players projected in. So typically you know, having Siakam projected over rebounds would still be fine. I am hesitant to take it here, however, because we have uh, Precious Achua and Gary Trent Jr., both questionable for the Raptors. There are multiple ways this can break and multiple different lineups that the Raptors could use. You could potentially end up with a starting lineup where Pascal Siakam is essentially the three playing alongside Precious Achua and Jakob Pertl. I would not like his rebounding projection nearly as much if that is the case, as if like Precious Achua is out and Siakam starting you know, at the four alongside Pirtle. So I am still hesitant to touch the rebounding prop on Siakam until we get more information. Derek White's assist under is more reasonable to go to than the rebounds, but still just staying away from that because we have so many questionable pieces on the Celtics and we already know that we're missing Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. 
skipping all the injury stuff, we finally get down to Chris Paul under one and a half three pointers at minus 111 tonight against the Kings. We have him projected for 1.3 three pointers, which gives you a 54% chance of winning the bet. 3% expected return. We only recommend wagering 3.1% of your bankroll because it is a pretty accurate line, just a very small edge here, and you can expect it to grow by 0.08%. If I were only wagering on FanDuel today, I would be fine making that Chris Paul bet, but really most of the action you're going to want to get down is just going to have to come later in the day, most likely when we get some of this injury information cleared up, unless you want to you know, go ahead and gamble and bet some of this stuff. I personally wouldn't, but uh, right now, the injury information just makes it pretty difficult on FanDuel. Um, before we recap the bets that we just talked about, if you have not signed up to any of the sports books mentioned and you would like to, check out the links in the pinned comment below this video. We have sign up offers for all of these sports books. It's an easy, quick way to grow your bankroll right out of the gate. And going forward, it will give you the advantage of being able to shop around use the best bets tab in this in our model uh, to bet the best prices you can get on different books instead of being stuck to the one or two that you already have a bankroll on. Now to recap on bet MGM under half of a block for Paolo Bancaro at minus 150 on Caesars over three and a half rebounds for Terrence Davis at plus 112 on DraftKings over one and a half three pointers for Terrence Davis at minus 125 and on FanDuel under one and a half three pointers for Chris Paul at minus 111. That's all I have for you today. Good luck on your bets tonight, everyone.